Yeah. All right. How's it going, everybody? We're going to be continuing the Tribute Shave Week. And we're going to be doing this one for Mac Shaves, Mike. I'm going to be using his favorite Fougere, Fougere Angelique from Barrister and Man. This is a little sample size, but uh, this is some seriously good shit. And I see why Mac loves it. But first... We're gonna do a little coffee check. Today, we got in the uh, Founders Breakfast Stout coffee cup. Has the breakfast stout right there. That's for when I'm feeling like having a nice roasty stout in the morning. We got some black coffee. This one is um, from Stumptown. And it's actually Evergreen is the name of it. Citrus and Caramel. It says on the back, Evergreen is an annual celebration of our strongest producer relationships. This holiday season, we are delighted to feature the blend of coffees from two long-standing producer groups, the Torres family from Costa Rica and the Doromina Cooperative in Ethiopia. This year's Evergreen combines bright citrus notes from Ethiopia Duromina with a sweet caramel finish from Costa Rica, Torres family. And this stuff is good stuff. Nice simple label. In all honesty, I drink a lot of Stumptown, but I bought this one simply for the name because Washington is the evergreen state. Wanted to see what this one was all about. Definitely has a tang from that citrus. I don't think it's like huge caramel on the finish, but it's there. It, this one's kind of one of those brighter... Um, coffees and it's nice <clears throat> all right so that was a little nod to um, Mac but I do have a beer on the side <laughs> do have a beer on the side since I'm a fucking degenerate I'm going back to back <clears throat> and this is the other half green city Double dry hopped IPA. Other half is fucking phenomenal. I figured I'd have a beer as well because I have influenced Mac to start getting into some some more craft beers. I showed him a uh, a beer box app that I use called Tabor and um, gives me access to some brews that are outside of my local market. And gives me a chance to snag some of them and try new things. It's absolutely badass. <clears throat> I'm going to be using my That Darn Rob brush right here. This one has the, uh, the purple dyed wood with the black top and the Fanchurian Badger Knot. With some gels going on. Um, it was kind of hard for me to find um, an equivalent that we had. As far as brushes go, me and Mac, Mac has an awesome assortment of brushes. I mean, like, awesome. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't have very many that are, like, in the same vein as him. I don't like uh, beehive at all. And he has a good amount of beehives. So those were out of the fucking picture immediately. Um, he has a shit ton of paladins. And whereas I can appreciate paladin shapes, I can appreciate paladin's pores and designs, um, I cannot appreciate paladin displaying their name on the side. It just kind of like takes all the class away from the brush and makes it seem a little bit more... <laughs> a little bit more like... Um, mainstream in a way like that's like something Gillette would do would, would be like put their name on the fucking side of you know on the side of the product it, it's just not to me I don't like it at all I know other brands do it as well luxury brands even but I'm not a fan of that shit so the Paladins were pretty much all out um he did get a fucking badass turn and shave and I was thinking about using my um, one of my custom turn and shave brushes. But I did see some That Darn Rob usage um, on his IG Live 
or not his IG live, but his IG stories. And I was like, you know what? I haven't used my old that darn Rob Venturian in a while. And um, I don't know. As I was scrolling through his IG posts, I was like, you know what? We both have that darn Robs. That's gonna have to be good enough <laughs> because I don't have no direct equivalent um, in Max collection and in my collection. So I had to kind of wing it on the brush. All good though. I really do enjoy this that darn Rob Fanchurian. So that looks pretty good right there. At least good enough to get started. Let's take another sip of this uh, Evergreen. So, this Fougere Lux, I have used it before. Can't remember how long ago it was that I got. Not Fougere Lux, Fougere Angelique. Can't remember how long ago it was that I got Fougere Angelique. But, I got it along with Fougere Gothique. Both of the samples. And they were, um, they were both really nice. I like both of them. I didn't end up picking up either one, though. I don't know if it was just a like a heavy volume um, time when it came to like releases and maybe I picked up other things, but I didn't pick up either one. Still have the samples though. Anyhow, Mac definitely knows his shit when it comes to good scents. He, uh, <laughs> if nothing else, his massive amount of Ariana and Evans and... Um, PAA and Declaration Grooming. I mean, tons of good shit in that guy's collection. Barrister and Man. So he definitely knows a good fucking scent. And <laughs> you can always appreciate Mac when he finds something that he likes because, boy, <laughs> that man will fucking buy a duplicate set, a backup set, and then a backup for the backup. And in the case of Fougere Angelique, he's going to buy a backup for the backup of the backup. Meaning, he has four trifectas, <laughs> including the EDPs, of uh, <laughs> Fougere Angelique, which is absolutely impressive. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination, that a fragrance would captivate someone to get four trifectas. Definitely, definitely um, a feat for Barrister and Man. They should be humbled <laughs> by the fact. Anyhow, <clears throat> I always got a kick out of that. Now, my videos go on long enough as is. But if this was a true Mac tribute, <laughs> I'd be sitting here lathering for the better part of a half hour <laughs> in such euphoria that I would almost forget I was filming <laughs> and then have to speed up my own video that way when you're watching in two times speed it can still be <laughs> in a manageable watch <laughs> and of course this is just me giving Mac shit but, so I gotta tell you guys something. Um, I started seeing Mac comment um, on my buddy's videos. And I was like, oh, this guy seems pretty cool, you know. Didn't really have any interactions with him. Um, but I followed him on Instagram. I believe and he oh I'm using the timeless bronze as well with a med prep blade gonna have to go into that in a second but I was uh, following his uh, IG and he was doing like a 30 days of Kaizen around this time and just fucking killing it like 30 days of one brand Different soap offerings. Killing it. Great shave of the day photos, by the way. And, you know, 
I'd see my I would see my buddies commenting on his shit. So they were already up on Mac more than I was. I was already a little bit behind on this guy. And um I heard one of my buddies mention on their video that Mac had started a uh, YouTube channel. And so I gave him a follow and when I finally got time to watch him, I think he was like two or three videos in. And when I finally got time to watch him, I was like, all right, this guy, he seems like he fucking uh, kind of already got a, uh, a feel for this thing. Like his first videos weren't fucking terrible. Like by any stretch of the imagination, they were actually halfway decent. And um, so I started commenting on his shit. He started commenting on my shit. And I just got the vibe. He was a pretty cool fucking dude. Anyhow. I, uh... One day I was, I was, uh, at work. And I could feel my phone buzzing in my pocket. So I looked at my smartwatch. And, um... I saw that the Degenerates had started a group chat. And so I'm sitting there at work, like, just fucking dying to get off work, you know. I was like, man, these guys are laughing it up, probably talking, shaving, and just, like, having the time of their lives. And I'm over here working, and <laughs> we're all in different time zones, so by the time I get there, some of them are going to be tired. I was just fucking bummed and whatnot. Wanting to get off work hella bad so I can get in on this conversation. Now, I fucking uh, started this group shortly after Ken had coined kind of like the shaving degenerate um, term, and we were all having our jokes. Um, I started doing jokes at the beginning of my videos and tried to get that going, and we were just having a fun time with the shaving degenerate thing. Anyhow, I started this group, and I saw that the... Uh, the shaving degenerates were already talking and chatting. And so when I got off work, I got home, grabbed a beer, and went out to my porch and fucking hopped on the chat. And when I opened up the chat, to my fucking surprise, Mac, <laughs> of all people, Mac of all people, <laughs> was in there and he was fucking <laughs> laughing it up just giggling like <laughs> like all get out and I'm thinking <laughs> I started this group right I don't remember fucking adding Mac <laughs> and uh the fellas let him in and oh my god it's been it's been a a riot ever since like Mac is a cool fucking dude, man. A great addition to the to the degenerates. And I get I flipped him some shit. I said, "Who the fuck let this guy in? <laughs> Who the fuck let Mac in?" And um, we just laughed it off and drank some beers and had a good time. And um, ever since, man, I've gotten to know Mac a little bit more, a little bit more. Dude has a fucking awesome collection. Um, fucking knows his shit when it comes to sense. Like, a lot of people tell me, like, um, the way I describe sense is on point, and uh, I appreciate the way that you break down sense. I think Mac does a pretty fucking good job, too. Like, he, uh, he breaks it down. In a way that I feel like you could really get an understanding um, quickly. Like, sometimes it's short and sweet, but it's like on point, his descriptions. So, I do appreciate that from Mac. He, uh, he always interjects, or start, he always intros his uh, videos with some coffee or a beer and sometimes even wine and uh 
I need to get in on that wine intro sooner or later. Me and the wife used to have um, a little bit of a wine kick going on a while back. I need to do one of those wine intros sooner or later. But uh, I like how he brings something else to the table. Kind of like I have my beer thing and he brings like coffee to the table as well. And who doesn't love some fucking really good coffee? So, I like, I haven't known Mac as much as some of these other guys, in all honesty. He's uh, somewhat new to my, like, wet shaving experience, but... Mac is a cool motherfucker, man, and if uh, we keep on like this, I think we're going to be friends for quite some time. I don't know if you've seen his fucking unboxings, but uh, we were all doing these unboxing with, with uh, various knives and whatnot, and... Uh, he busts out a motherfucking sword for his unboxings. And it wasn't just a one-time thing. Like, <laughs> dude was unboxing swords for videos in a row. And, uh, it's just shit like that. Like, he, he, he cracks me up with some of his, like, mannerisms. Um, you've never seen somebody apply splash like a motherfucking degenerate. Until you see Mac apply splash. I mean, he just... <laughs> he lets it go. And then he'll go for another round. And then he'll go for another round. And you can tell he's like building to some sort of climax. <laughs> he, uh... It's just hilarious, dude. Strongest aftershave game on YouTube. No fucking doubt about it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, like I said, man, if you guys have not checked out Mac Shaves on Instagram or on YouTube, you gotta check him out. Um, his channel's growing, and he's doing a fucking fantastic job, and he's got an awesome collection, he's got a shit ton of good gear, and I'm telling you, some of his mannerisms and shit, they, they, uh, they really get me laughing. I'm gonna bust out this Lancaster towel. <clears throat> I don't have a, a cat, or else I would uh, dry off with my cat. Mac has a cat, and when he's shaving, his cat will uh, often interrupt his shave, and it'll start meowing and meowing and meowing, and uh, he'll indulge the cat. <laughs> he'll indulge the cat, and it's call for attention. And so he'll be shaving and you can hear it meow. And he's like, hey, I'm not done yet. You're going to have to wait till I'm done. And the cat will go get meow, meow, meow. And he's like, hey, it's not time to dry off yet. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll get you when it's time to dry off. Because this cat's all fluffy and shit. And uh, <laughs> it's just shit like that. Like, without even, without even like, losing a beat or taking a, a split second to think, it's like immediate... Dude sharp. You can just tell the dude sharp. And uh and witty and funny. I do get a kick out of Mac. <clears throat> but I don't have a fluffy cat. So I will resort to my Lancaster towel. Which gets the job done. Just fantastically. <clears throat> So the Timeless did a great job. I've noticed he hasn't broke out the Timeless that much recently. But when I was scrolling through his IG um, feed, he had a ton of shaves with the Timeless Bronze and Med Prep Blade over and over and over. And it was like every like third shave 
was the fucking timeless with the uh, med prep blade. It was like timeless, straight razor, charcoal, straight razor, timeless, right, you know? And it was like you could almost, you could almost like, like clockwork almost. And I'll say that was a nice fucking shape, a comfy shape with that med prep and timeless. And the Fougere Angelique. I believe this is in the reserve base, if I remember correctly. I don't know, though, but definitely whipped up a nice lather for me, especially on that second uh, that second pass. I think I whipped it up a little bit better. <clears throat> I'm going to finish off with some Fougere Luxe, and this is from Purely Skinful. I recently enabled him to check out Purely Skinful, and specifically the Fougere Luxe scent, because... Dude loves his uh, Fougeres. He is a real Fern Squad boy. Or Fern Man Gang. <laughs> Whatever the hell uh, he called it. Let's just get a nice round of this on here. Oh, fuck yeah. That is just bright and beautiful. Similar, but not the same as Fougere Angelique. But... Definitely some good shit. Oh. Let's just do one more. This is a Mac tribute. Gotta get a little bit more. Go ahead and work that in. You know, Mac might be onto something. Let's just, maybe just a little bit more right around here. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Mac might be onto something with this. I mean. Whew. Oh, fuck. That's good shit. <laughs> All right. I think that's good enough to uh, wrap up the... Uh, God damn, that Fougere Lux actually tastes all right. I, I think that's good enough to wrap up the Mac Shaves uh, tribute. Dude, just got to know you. I'm enjoying your fucking content. I'm enjoying your company. Uh, I wish all the best for you moving forward in the YouTube content creation and just through your wet shaving experience. I, I'm really enjoying your company, man. So please keep at it. Fucking keep it coming. And, uh... Just keep doing you because I think you're fucking onto something with that. <clears throat> Anyhow, so cheers to you, bro. This was another great uh, tribute uh, shave week. Like I said, it's not too late to get in some fucking tribute shaves. Still got a couple more days. Go ahead and throw one in there for your favorite shaver or favorite um, um, or a family member or anybody you just want to honor through the art of shaving. So, anyhow. Cheers, fellas. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you got a, a laugh right there. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.